everybody, here we are, August 1st, 2016, and once again, out here filming what is possibly Nibiru, directly underneath the sun, at approximately 6.35 p.m., and it's in the same identical position as it was yesterday, and the skies are crystal clear. I'm going to go ahead and pan over a little bit for you. Just a few little minor clouds in the sky. However, there she is. Same spot. Now the planet actually looks like it is a little more towards the 7 o'clock position than it was yesterday. Uh, yesterday, whenever I videotaped it, it was pretty close to about the same time about 6 30 p.m. and it was directly at the six o'clock position underneath the sun. I'm gonna go ahead and just pan back a little bit for you. And you can see it. It's clear as a bell. And the sun has a very, very unusual bright white color to it. The sun is no longer orange like it used to be when I was a kid. It just seems like the sunlight is so more intense. It's just an instant burning on your skin. But as you can see, I pan away and the rays of the sun kind of deplete the image of the planet. Now, one of the reasons why we cannot see the planet with our naked eye is because the human eye does not see in infrared. Your cell phone camera, which I'm using an LG Stylo uh, smartphone, or cameras, video cameras, they're able to see in the infrared spectrum. And that's why we are so easily able to capture the planet directly underneath the sun. I don't know, folks. It's getting pretty close to that time. I think maybe we possibly have 90 days maybe four months. I don't know. The government's not saying anything. NASA scientists and astronomers are not saying anything. Everything is hush-hush. Although NASA did just come out in the news media today about an asteroid that we may have problems with in the year 2023, which we're really not interested in that right now because we've got this planetoid monster, aka the destroyer, Wormwood, Nibiru, knocking on our back door. And if you have not started to plan, you better start. It's probably going to take you about 90 days to find yourself some pretty heavy duty shelter, canned food, cases of bottled water. I would definitely have a way of protecting yourself, uh, you know, hunting rifle, handgun, plenty of ammunition, uh, some batteries, things of that nature. You know, kind of like you're going on a hunting trip. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. And please stay tuned for daily updates. Once again, this is the 1st of August, 2016, at approximately 6.30 p.m. And I am about 25 miles south of the city of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So once again, folks, start preparing. This planet looks like it's getting larger and larger by the day. Take care. Buddy, here we are, August 1st, 2016. And once again, out here filming what is possibly Nibiru, directly underneath the sun, at approximately 6.35 p.m. And it's in the same identical position as it was yesterday. And the skies are crystal clear. I'm going to go ahead and